Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started on the Platform Video Modules, which is a part of the Seven Bridges onboarding lesson. This video demonstrates how to navigate the Knowledge Center. While following along to this video, please keep in mind some key concepts. The first is that the Knowledge Center is a resource where you will find guides and tutorials for general usage of the Seven Bridges platforms. The second is that the guides range in complexity from quick start guides to accessing our API for any developer needs. At the end of the video, you will be able to navigate to the Seven Bridges Knowledge Center, browse through the content, and lastly, contact our support team if you have any outstanding questions. In the Knowledge Center demonstration, we will do the following. Navigate to the Knowledge Center, browse some of the content, and lastly, learn how to contact support. To navigate to the Knowledge Center, open a new tab in your browser window and go to docs.sevenbridges.com. Com. Once you've navigated to docs.sevenbridges.com, you'll see a landing page with several options. Here is the Knowledge Center homepage. The Knowledge Center homepage has many types of guides to navigate, including quick start guides, tutorials, and some more advanced options for developers. Let's check out the quick start guide to begin. The Quick Start Guide contains all the information you'll need to quickly start your analysis on our platform. There is a table of contents with clickable links on the right-hand side of the page. This guide walks you through creating a project, adding data, selecting a workflow, running your analysis, and finally, viewing the results. The guide even features the in a nutshell portion at the end, which summarizes the instructions in as simple a manner as possible. For additional details or more advanced tutorials, look to the left side of your screen to find a list of materials. Let's explore one of these tutorials together. This tutorial shows you how to build a workflow by linking together publicly available tools. If you choose to read through this tutorial, you'll see there are detailed images that accompany the instructions. Let's look at another tutorial. Here we have a worked example for writing SAMTOOLS sort as a CWL tool. This tutorial walks you through command line syntax and even how to create a Docker image. Again, you'll find accompanying images or code snippet examples throughout the tutorial. If at any point you are feeling lost or have a question, scroll down to the bottom of any page. Here, you'll find a link to contact our support team via email. Once we receive your message, someone will reach out to you. The following are key takeaways for this lesson. One. You can browse through the Knowledge Center to find guides as simple or as complex as you like, depending on your level of expertise. And two, if you still can't find the information you need, please request help from our support team. You can contact them directly from the Knowledge Center by sending a message to support-sb at velsera.com or by clicking the contact email link at the bottom of docs.sevenbridges.com. Our next video in the module list is Troubleshooting Failed Tasks.